Hello everyone, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. As you can see, I have a fluid duck finally, running from my squeezer into my carpenter, and I'm getting seed oil. And I do not have any walnut trees. Because I found a much better source. I have situated right over there. Pumpkins. Change pumpkins into pumpkin seeds. They grow very quickly. You get four seeds per pumpkin. And just throw them right in. So the first thing I want to make. I want to make. Uh, four. Impregnated casings here. And this will be for making more apiaries. I want to make four of them. I gotta babysit this a little bit. Because I only want four of them. So let's. Hmm. I don't wanna walk away from it too much. I don't have any trees planted at the moment because I'm switching gears a little bit. We are gonna plant some more trees. We got two done. Let's get the fourth one. You can see here an apiary is just an impregnated casing. And basically you build it the exact same way you would a bee house, but you have this impregnated casing inside of it instead. Rather simple to do. Okay, so that's four. And now if I, if you notice, I took that out. Now I want to do these guys. And I'll do enough to finish out that stack. I think it'll make a stack of them. That's good enough for me now. We need those four frames. These guys. Oh, I didn't know I had two more impregnated frames. So what we're going to do quick is we're going to start changing what we have in these apiaries here. These don't even have frames. That one still does. So let's start out. We're going to put a marshy queen in with... A meadows drone. And what that's going to do is we're going to try and create common bees. And I want to create four of them across the way. Um, I know you. Actually, I'm not sure what um, what kind of bee they are. I know these guys though are pristine. This one I'm going to try and force. I have purebred common drones here onto a meadows princess. And if you do enough of these and keep breeding back to the princess eventually you know you will do what's called species forcing um, another meadows princess will cross with a forest drone and then the rocky princess we're gonna cross with a meadows drone so basically if you cross any of your standard uh, what they call hive bees which are meadows, forest, marshy, rocky, um, I think tropical counts. So I'm not sure what you, let's try and put you up, nope. Those are probably some sort of cross that I'm not sure what they are yet. And a rocky drone. So we still got a lot of bees to work with. Uh, trees, that's what we want to do here. So you can see I have silver limes, I have hill cherries, and what are we going to be crossing with? We need, remember, rosewood is what we're after at the moment. And I know I'm looking at the mutatron here. If I kick kick over to here, you can see it's myrtle plus a teak. So we got to go back to here, which is kapok. Um, Okay, so teak is what we need first, which is a silver lime with a jungle. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go, and put the teak. Uh, let's go to, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, because we got to cross then a jungle teak with a teak. So we got to make the teak. So we need three silver limes. And we need three jungles. And I know I have jungles in here. 
And apparently I have no more bone meal. So let me get these guys growing. And uh, actually, I'm going to try and break these out again like I had them before. Because the jungle are going to be tall. So yeah, I'll get these planted and we'll see what comes of it. And we'll see what happens with our bees as well. Alright guys, we are back. And, well, we've apparently didn't have much luck. So we're going to have to see, uh, this is the one, I want to check these three first. Okay, she's a Meadows Common, that's good. This is a hybrid, I'm guessing this one is a hybrid as well, yes. So the good thing about her being a Meadows Common now is when I put her back in, did not mean to throw her like that with purebred commons she's got only one side the active trait to get rid of so chances are we can get rid of the metals princess portion and turn her into a common princess from that uh, where do we want to go here okay so we've got a forest I'm gonna run out of bee drops this is why I want to be doing this so it's a forest meadows. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily help us. Uh, forest meadows. But we do have a common drone here. It's a common forest. So I think our best bet, since I don't really have many common drones, is to put these two back together and s just kind of see what happens. Uh, how much do I have left? I have four of them. So let's bring these two down. We have a Rocky Meadows and a Rocky Meadows. So what are these? Meadows Common, Common Meadows, Meadows Forest. So definitely not that one, not that one. Well, since we have kind of a common drone here, Let's put the Rocky Princess back in with this common drone and just see what happens. This is where it takes a couple guesses here as we go through. And then we've got these guys. So we've got a Meadows Common. So we have some common in there. A Marshy Meadows. That doesn't help. And I have no more honey drops. So let's check these hives quick. Oh, this one went through its cycle. Two hives, or two combs, good. Ooh, we got another one. We got trees that we're waiting on here too. And I should show you guys those trees. But first, let's quick do this. I just need one honey drop, like such. Put that in, put this one in, marshy meadows, okay. So we've got a meadows common and a Meadows Common. So since we don't have a uh, purebred another common, because I want to keep it with the, that Meadows Princess that we're trying to convert. And once we actually convert, we can kick out some more, let's see, yeah, these two. If we can get her converted, she'll start making purebred common drones and then we can use them to help convert the other ones basically so many different colors here so this is the only one that will work through the night Ooh, another comb another comb and basically what we're going for at the moment is a cultivated bee which I think we're only like two generations off from maybe once we get um, common not what we wanted and there one up here. I want I want you. Not sure what I got. There's one here. Got another one here? Oh we do have another one right here. I can't reach that one. I don't want to keep breaking 
Breaking blocks. I do have dirt. It looks like we didn't do very well because we've got all silver limes. Yep, we've got all silver limes. So it didn't cross well. So we're just going to have to wait and see. But that's okay. That's what it's all about. So I'll get back to you guys when I get to the next thing. All right, guys, we are back. And we have some exciting things to check out. So first, I want to check out in the treealizer here. We've got our first teak sapling. <gasps> and it is a purebred. That's huge. So we have the next step in tree breeding. And actually, we're a little ways away from here. I actually want to grow it and chop it down and get a few more saplings from it. So I'll show you guys what this one looks like. Ta-da! That's not bad. Not a bad looking tree. Alright, so. Some exciting things have happened over here. We still got a regular meadows. <gasps> but here. We have a common princess. We have a cultivated drone. Ooh, a cult cultivated princess. Wow, it really crossed over. That's what we're looking for, but it depends on uh, what if she's a purebred or not. And I doubt she would be. So let's get our Bealizer out. She is a purebred common. That, my friends, is what we need. This cultivated is interesting. So if we put her in there, should be the same. Yep, see, it's the same information on those two, which means she will just keep producing common drones now, which is what we were looking for. Um, it's a cultivated common drone. And what about this one? A common cultivated drone. So it is crossing. Now, what about these guys? cultivated common and a common forest okay I have no interest in that one right now oh and this one is not done because it's nighttime I have no interest in you either so what's gonna be the best way for us to pull this off I'm very curious about putting in a cultivated common and a cultivated common and seeing what we get maybe we can get a cultivated princess out of it if both I don't know we're either going to get a cross a common or cultivated but we're going to keep the cultivated gene hopefully uh, in the bee so that one we got to wait for okay this is the one we got to check I only have two drops left the queen is a meadow commons queen this is a common cultivated Meadows, meadows. So that's a purebred, and I am out of honey. So we're definitely going to put her back in. You're a meadows common. Common cultivated. I want to hold on to this one for the cultivated gene. Straight meadows. Common forest. Hmm, by double crossing, because we get the forest in there too. We might get a better chance at it. I don't know. It's just messing around, seeing what happens, basically. Ah, yes. I was going to chop this down. And then we need to chop down the, the limes over there. And this hatchet is so awesome for doing this. I can even uh, jump and get the leaves, which you normally can't do unless you have like a shears maybe. We've only got one sapling from that? Really? 
Well, I know the problem is, is we start getting uh, into the, the jungle side of things. I'm going to do this a few more times because I'd like a few saplings from it. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. We got a real gray wood. That's not too bad. So I'm going to do this a few more times and we're going to see what happens with the bees again. Alright guys, let's see how we did. Now this, this is a good sign. Cultivated, cultivated. See how this has got uh, a couple different traits. Not too bad. Cultivated noble. Interesting. Cultivated, cultivated. There we go. So these two here are set to go. Flowers, flowers. Not did. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so ooh, we've got common, common, common. This is the one we were forcing. Okay, so we have a common, common. Good. Another common, common. And another com. Oh, okay, here we go. So you see the pollination is slowest and slower. This one is slowest. Slow oh, wait, what's the difference? Shorter, shorter, shorter. Aha, speed. Slowest. Whereas this one has slower. What does the queen have? Slowest. Okay, let's put... Uh, what do you have? Uh, this one, I believe. Slower, slower. The queen is slowest. Okay, so they don't stack. So I want her. Slower worker. Ah, you look good. Cultivated noble. Okay, and these are common drones. That's a common cultivated. Ah, let's see. This one... Inventory space, I tell ya. Okay, we've got enough. Forest common. Alright, that's a good start. A meadows common. And a common common. So, we're going to put her back in, and we're going to put common back in, and hope that we get her across to a common. Now, the reason we're still looking... You must be able to work at night. Yeah, diurnal and nocturnal. And rocks. Oh wow, you're you're quite the meadow queen. Interesting. So if I put in um what do I want to put in? Common bee. And she gets used See, if you mix it with, in this case, like a rocky, marshy, wintry, that's how you get the cultivated. So basically, if we get stable common bees in here, uh, then we can put back in like like a meadows, a straight up meadows, or a straight up forest, and cross, and then that should get us cultivated. At least that's what we're going for. Or we can do what I was doing, where we start breeding looks like there's a white one up there there's a white one up there too uh, where I have a cultivated cultivated over here you know straight up here bread where is she right here if we pump out the drones we can force over like we did with that one with her because she's a forced over common and basically once we get two or three princesses of cultivated we can produce a whole lot of combs which is what I'm going for and then we'll be set on production and then we go to the next set we're gonna start making blooming bees I believe is there is it 
I cannot type. Blooming bees? Yeah. Which are made from thriving, growing, and it goes back a little ways. Like a diligent and a forest. And a diligent is a cultivated and a common. So it's actually like the next step to get a diligent, basically. And what the blooming bee does is it has, I think, one of the fastest pollination rates. So we'll use them for the trees over here. And they also, let's see, they take saplings for, for instead of flowers. So I don't necessarily need all these flowers everywhere, although it's kind of neat that they are. And then uh, they bone meal trees, like saplings. So we'll get saplings at bone meal. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab some of these. Hopefully we get our next cross. And then I'll meet you back for one last thing before we get going. Alright guys, I grabbed it. I had one teak sapling that was most likely a cross. But look, a kapok. And it is, as you can see, a purebred. Which is the next step. So, what do we have left? If I can type, Rosewood is a Myrtle Beach with a teak. We already have teaks, so we need a, a Myrtle Ebony. I don't know why I said Myrtle Beach, which is a Kapok with a teak. Uh, what do I have up there? Okay, yeah, these are all teak. So we have to cut down the jungles, put in these Kapoks, crossbreed them. We need the Myrtle Ebonies, and then we cross them with these teaks. I think, or no, with a Kapok? Well, now I'm all confused. A Myrtle Ebony with a Teak, yeah. So we replace the Kapoks that we'll put in place of these jungles with the Myrtle Ebonies, cross them, and we should get Rosewood trees. And then we can move on to any other tree that we might possibly want. And my goal at some point, I'll show you is to be able to have saplings and the the wood logs here and then the planks as well just so we have for all the trees so we have all the different types of woods that we could possibly want so the last thing I want to show you guys is you probably noticed that I have frames inside the apiaries I'll show you what they look like wow I cannot frame these guys right here Untreated are really simple. It's a piece of silk. If I go here, a piece of silk with sticks all around it. But if you want impregnated, which has got twice the time, they're, they're worth the same as far as production because you use them for production. But you use impregnated sticks. And that's what I was making in the carpenter here, where it takes the seed oil and puts it into the sticks and gets impregnated sticks. So we're going to make a bunch of those. I think I can take some more of these sticks out. And that's important, especially for the cultivated. So we can get six of them. And guess what? I have no space in my inventory. Who would have guessed? So now we got a bunch of these guys, which will definitely come into use in the future. So that, guys... I'm going to have to uh, let you guys go. It's time for me to end the episode. Uh, thanks for watching. And I think next time, I'm going to keep doing this off camera. You guys kind of get the gist of how bee breeding works and tree breeding. And we'll check in a little bit. I can see my gold chest from here. Cool. Uh, we have to work on mechanism. Because I think we will be finally upgrading to tier 2, which is uh, 3 ore processing. So we'll do that next time. So as always, thanks for watching and take it easy.